sure you don't want to just grab the bus or nope if we're gonna go rogue we're doing it right well what the hell am i getting into here Chair Price, the view's amazing. Rachel wants. Need to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these cr- Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. There's my chair. Whoa, Nathan's dad is a Terminator? That totally checks out. I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. I was supposed to read Huck Finn in English last year. Now I'm living it. Price one. Twain zero. I see humans, but no humanity. Everybody is somebody, but no one wants to be themselves. <laughs> Some preachy graffiti up in this train. Human is another word for monster. I see humans, but no humanity. Everybody is somebody, but no one wants to be themselves. Well, my mic was off. <laughs> um, so anyway, hello humanity. Welcome to the Grimfinity channel. My name's Grimfinit, and today we're playing some more Life is Strange Before the Storm. Um, we hopped on the train with Rachel um, after skipping class, and so yeah, we just uh, graffitied. So let's continue. Some preachy graffiti up in this train. So I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me reading aloud all of this stuff. Um, it's great to take a stand, but right now, just another typical day, skipping school with Rachel Amber. Yeah, you are. All right, Chloe, <laughs> you're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this Obsessed much? nervousness? <laughs> Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Max would be the Should nervous I make bug. Small talk? Is that what people do? Talk about the weather. 
Oh. <laughs> it's nice Rachel we're having. <laughs> what? I mean weather. It's nice weather. <laughs> it sure is. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name is Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Mr. Keaton, say thanks or remain silent. I didn't Mr. mention it Keaton. earlier, but you seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? <laughs> I guess you could say I'm good with people, yeah. Just don't pull that stuff with me. You will get on this train. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Good to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? You don't? <laughs> right. What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? Your high school royalty. You don't know me. Oh. Yet. Ooh. Let's do something fun. Agree or flirt? Ah. Oh. oh. Tough. V card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Too far. Well, I don't know. Okay, something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play two truths and a lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is a lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. You're on. This will be interesting. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Europe. Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. <laughs> What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay, <laughs> so ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, no. which is the lie? Oh, jeez. I don't think she's ambidextrous. But it could also be New York. Ugh. I don't buy the ambidextrous claim. No? Well, that's too bad, because it's true. Prove it. Sign your name with both hands. Sign where? Seriously? All the bad girls do it. Come on. Damn. I'm afraid the lie was New York. I'm a Cali girl. Ah, uh, see, that's, that's my second option. So, New York's on the bucket list. Broadway, here I come. Cool. Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? 
Let's see how good she really is at this game. Hmm. We'll start off with a truth. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. I think that threw her off. Oh, should I tell another truth or should I lie? Sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? Swear. Guess Chloe Price. Uh, Hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a cow game. <laughs> I think I have your number. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. Did I mention my love of booty? <laughs> so, pirate. Obviously true. Maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Oh. Are you accepting applications? Considering it. <laughs> I love it! It's so gay! Okay. You say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work. Well, <laughs> sure. It's not for everyone. I get that. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. Huh. Which brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Alleged? I'm calling lie. Why is that? I mean, maybe you're allergic, but I've passed by your locker a few times, and I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. Stalker? His name was Bongo. He was a gift from my dad. Did he pass away? Yeah. My dad died two years ago. I thought everyone knew that. I think she I meant, meant the cat. Bongo. <laughs> oh my god, of course, that's what you meant. I'm so sorry. Hey, that's okay. Awkward moment of the year. <laughs> Definitely. So... If my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. <laughs> When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Mm. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. <laughs> but eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. It's not a big deal. I made a good choice. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. I'm just not really into touchy-feely shit. But... I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Oh, uh, it's so gay! <laughs> oh, awkward silence. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Don't drop your phone, Chloe. Um, share with Rachel. Hey, wanna listen?
And then this is probably going to be cut out the audio. So we're just going to get quiet. See if Twitch bans my audio. Hopefully, I canceled out of that fast enough. Cool bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Fuck it! Is it the junkyard? Oh, please tell me we're in the junkyard right now. I would love if we're in the junkyard. Well, I guess we'll find out. I feel like I feel like I did good with that conversation. I feel like I was Chloe Price, but also showing my sensitive side. Oh, it's so pretty. I wish I lived out by the mountains or some roaring river, roaring, rushing river. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like a state park or something. Yeah, it probably is a park. Wait. Is that where the lighthouse was? Back in the day? I say back in the day, I really just mean when uh, Life is Strange 1. Because I, I recognize the, like, the steps are very lighthouse-y. And we have officially entered a new area. Also, you guys should check out the soundtrack. It's by um, Daughters. Yeah. It's, it's really nice good. Glad you I approve. was listening to it yesterday. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. I know all the world's a stage and shit. But I'm not an actor. Really? I see you acting like you're tough all the time in school. I call out that Damn it. <laughs> this game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily we got some high tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. That blows. Well, shit. <laughs> that sucks. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh, yeah? We'll see what you got. And now we're going to make you sit there and wait while we observe every object we see. Rage. Sorry about Drew. Not your fault. How'd Mikey get my number? <gasps> That's his brother. No. Rachel really wants to use no the speed way. finder. 
I'd love to get it working for her. This whole day is out of order, but in the best possible way. Besides. Dwight Mueller really killed it with this statue of an explorer guy. Where are all my explorer ladies at, though? Probably at home, washing laundry and spitting out kids. Fuck you, Dwight. <laughs> 1992, that was a year after I was born. This Blackwall guy sure liked founding stuff that was already there. Founders <laughs> keepers, I guess. Was that the same Blackwell guy? Yuck. Cliche much, AW and BW? I wonder who AW and BW is. I wanna know. I'm sneaky and conniving. I really feel like there's something else we can do over here. Oh! Was this how historic axe murderers searched for their next victim? <laughs> I can graffiti the statue. Such a rebel. Draw an axe or a sextant? Sextant. He's going to come down with his axe, Chloe. He's going to chop you in half. the interns. <laughs> I'm proud of that choice. We unlocked Pioneer Spirit Achievement. All right, back to looking around. Do, 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 do. I can sit and ponder. Time to be emo. Just a day in the park with Rachel Amber. You know when something kind of amazing is happening, you don't always stop to think about it right away? And then when you do think about it, you start thinking about it a lot. And the more you think about it, the crazier it seems until pretty soon you're psyching yourself out and then everything turns to shit. Yeah, let's not do that today. <laughs> Do, 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 do. It's also something I want to look at. This piece of rope. I don't know what it's. Oh, hi. If oh, Matt's it's a tire here, swing. She'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it Innocence Lost or some shit. I guess nature doesn't quite provide. Get out of here, woodland creatures. Have some self respect. So birds go instead. Oh, I just can't win. This trash can is in pretty high demand. Bye, you fools. Okay, Gandalf. Oh, jeez. Okay, you know what? I would rather I would rather have the uh, the birds. Get out of here, woodland creatures. I'm Have trying to hit this to fast forward, but I can't. <laughs> I've always said the Prescott family has a couple screws loose. Arcadia Bay's greatest son. The greatest son. More initials? To get Wait. Is that the same AW as before? Not afraid of commitment, I see. Uh -oh. I've been saying sorry all morning. I admit it was really dumb to lock the keys in the car. You've been on me for three hours. Hmm. If you're going to argue in public, at least have the decency to make it about something interesting. Hey, spare some change? Sorry, we might have some leftover food when we're done. What? No, I'm not. What kind of food? This place has really gone downhill. Shh. She's right there. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not homeless. 
My hierarchy of needs goes pot, then beer, then wine. Still, wino has a classy ring to it. A bird nest. There's got to be something freeing about being able to build your home wherever you are, from whatever is around you. That is... I really like that quote. Might get on a tattoo. Yep, it's official. I'm learning way more ditching school than I ever do in class. The raven stands for transformation. Its grinning face betrays its trickster spirit. The raven has many ancient stories among the Salishan and other native peoples. Some say the raven helped create the first man. The raven is to be respected, never trusted. Whoa, that's badass. Can I graffiti it? I want to graffiti a totem pole. Gosh. Oh, nothing over here. Keep pressing on, they say. We'll go this way. I don't want to head down there just yet. Okay, or not. We can just choose not to. Hold on one second, I just want to make sure my chat's running. wrong with that viewfinder a lot a lot is wrong with that viewfinder especially considering you're trying to break into it or whatever chat is up and running looks like this one might actually be working I can look at that oak tree the lonely oak looks lonely Guess even trees have outcasts. Damn, that's an old tree. Wait, does this sign say butt rot? Does it? <laughs> oh, a scar on the northern end of the trunk attests to the tree's survival of a direct lightning strike. Approximately 200 years ago. I can investigate Rachel's the viewfinder. Still trapped in there, waiting to be set free. Huh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. What do, what do I need? I'm not getting in there with just my fingers. Maybe Rachel has something I can use. Oh, a hairpin. Right, a hairpin would work, right? That is the look of a person who is used to getting what she wants. <laughs> Wonder what that feels like. Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. Victoria messaged me. I'm so ready. Fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, uranium? Think I don't know that spells fuck you on the periodic table? I got in trouble for that, you carbon, uranium, nitrogen... What? Um, ten? You called me a cunchson. Oh, because the periodic table. Huh? Ten is SN. Fuck you, bitch. You're so dead. Your. Alright, let's pry this open. Damn it. It always looks so easy in the movies. I wonder if I can find something sturdier to use. Maybe I can threaten the people down the way. 
with my nail file. Is that a terrible thing? To intimidate them to give me something? Alright, picnickers. What's worse than groveling for change? Oh, maybe not. Groveling for change and failing. I could have sworn I could. Ah, uh, oh well. Did we look at anything earlier that we could possibly use? I really wanted to threaten them with my nail file. Since I already think I'm... I'm no, not in there. Hmm. Now can I get over there? I don't want to head nope. down there just yet. Okay. Um Should I give her back her nail file? Totally gonna get you that quarter. Love the confidence. Would love a quarter even more. Why is she so bitchy to me? She dragged me out here to look around for a quarter. Oh gosh, is I there really metal around here. Oh the, the 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 placard on the on the other bench is metal. Yeah. Here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> Did I just throw her nail file on the ground? New message from Steph. Hey, heads up. Wells is on the warpath. Oh, no. Seriously. Just trying to help. Yeah, right. You killed me this morning. That's what the GM does, dude. Also, thanks for playing with us. Mikey had a blast. He's cool. He's been down lately, not sure why, but I, and then some words. Did I, guessing you really helped him or something? Alright. <clears throat> Let's try and pry it open with uh, the big metal screw thing. Press got power, activate. Sweet. She has that side smirk thing going on. I don't want to boast, so I'll let you do it for me. Chloe Price, you are truly the viewfinder whisperer. I stand in awe of your powers. Much better. My powers are greater than yours, Rachel Amber. Rachel smells like Jasmine. Is she smelling me right now too? Really should have showered this morning. All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during like every class. See, you're a natural. Let's give it a try. All right. So we've got a grill, speed walker, uh, something, a woman. We'll do the woman. Sweet beanie. What do you suppose she's thinking? Sure, the view's great, but I prefer to look at pictures of nature on a computer. Ugh, the grass around here is so not green enough. I <laughs> cannot wait for the machines to take over. <laughs> right, 
Now we'll do the speed walker. Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? I hope bees don't mistake my shorts for begonia. I've been pollinated twice this week already. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Grill Dad. Hmm. What's going on with these two? Um, child sacrifice. And the Lord said it, thou shalt make a burnt offering of your firstborn son. Who are you talking to, Dad? No one, son. Now, lean into the grill and see if the fire started. Further. <laughs> Further. Wow. That was dark. Too dark. Perfect dark. This is fun. Who's next? The woman. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Ooh, jackpot. Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Oh, honey, I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. I'm totally seeing double. <laughs> Rachel? Oh, no. Hey, are you all right? What are we doing? Excuse me? What? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. Uh, hell yeah. The honor student wants to show the school delinquent how to party? Be my guest. How gracious of you. What is her problem? What is her problem? She know those two? They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead. No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? She's and really manipulative. Fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. All right. I'm going in. Try to keep up. What the hell? Um, can we help you? <sighs> oh my god! Holy shit! Talk about committing to a performance. Better act. And the Oscar for what best distraction do? of wine toting picnickers goes to, to be a Rachel Amber. Get her CBR. Better play my supporting role in the yeah. wine fast. I I How to save someone's life? Yeah, I guess I'd remember something. Oh, thank God! Please, this girl is in trouble. Go get help. I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. Who are you oh waiting boy. for? Go! Don't look at me. Look at Baywatch over here. Uh, I don't remember how to do CPR. What? It's time to nut up or shut up. Watch out. I'm going to check her pulse. That's on her neck, right? I still think you should go get help. There's a ranger station on the other side of the park. Good point. We'll keep watch while you go. Uh, uh, look at all the time we've wasted already. This woman needs mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Stat. Uh, no. Yep. Definitely needs mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. Okay. Okay. You can do this. Oh gosh, she's gonna kill me. Pathetic. Look, he's clearly useless. This woman needs help from someone who actually knows what they're doing. Hey, look at me. Do you want to be locked out of the car of life forever? 
or are you ready to break in there and <laughs> seize the keys to your potential? Oh my god. You're right. Hey, wow. I'm all better now. You saved my life from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Yeah, good work, everyone. Peace out. That was incredible. You're a hero. Huh, I guess I am. We saved their marriage. Gosh darn. Yeah. You earned this. Thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna turn to an alcoholic very I use quickly. A drink after trying to keep up with you. I am excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. <laughs> All righty. What next? Where to next? I really want to know who was by that tree. That's so much better than a squirrel. Oh gosh, I'm having flashbacks of railroad tracks from the first game. Dude, that's so me. Whenever I walk um, down the street or whatever, I try and balance on the curb. Or if there's an object in front of me I can jump on and climb across, I do that. So basically exactly what Chloe's doing right now. Hey, check this out. What? <laughs> Junkyard. Pile of trash. Uh, yeah, an awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? I've totally had hangouts with strangers like this, where it's been like we hit it off really good and then they just get like weird. Oh, that was an awkward option. Chloe, I'd really like some space right now. Trying okay. to be supportive. Actually, no. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. No. I don't understand. You can't just turn on me for no reason. I'm sorry, turn on you? I guess I forgot. It's always about how you feel, isn't it? Sad Chloe's fucking sad again. Maybe you should try giving a shit about other people for once. Are you serious right now? Fuck! Uh, okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but... Apparently, she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. Score.
Hey, hey. Check, it check it out. I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer drinking it next to an old toilet. Home run! That was a terrible swing. Sure. I asked you to leave me alone. Are you kidding me? I, I know you're the school princess and all, with the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass, but seriously, fuck you. Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait! Don't go! Why not? Because, because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this exactly? Ah! Oh. oh fuck, what do I choose? I mean, fuck, are you actually going to make me say it? Say what? Exactly. You know, like, a friendship. But more. Ah. I know. Weird, right? It's just, today was the best day I've had since, since my dad died. And when I almost ruined it just now, the way I ruin everything, it made me realize Whatever's going on between us is special. Come on, say something. Chloe, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. But I can't. I can't. Even though I want. Why not? Because I can't. I know it isn't fair, but it's how it is. Oh gosh. Goodbye, Chloe. <laughs> or smash options. Well, I want to see what other options I have. I'm walking around so aggressively. I'm not finished. Not yet. Okay, I get it. You're not finished yet. Gosh. Fine, we'll go this way. Good kiddos. Oh crap. I'm supposed to smash the sign first and then the paint. I can't graffiti now. I missed a graffiti opportunity. Reload last checkpoint. So I'm doing all achievements, so. Because that totally looked like a graffiti spot. 
Because there has to be one during this cutscene, and the only option I have is to smash yes. stuff up. Nice. And that'll give me something to draw with. Because of the spilled paint. Because that's very conveniently spilled paint. Okay, I got the sign. Smash the animal. Called it. I don't even have an option of what to paint. Achievement unlocked. Face your anger. Holy moly, Chloe! Damn! Message from mom. Your school called. I think you know why. A meeting with Principal Wells. I need you to do better. Chloe? Chloe? Chloe, I'm worried about you. Please. Something, something, something. That's where my tit Twitch stream is, so. My tit stream. <laughs> oh, gosh. We get it. You smashed an old monitor. You're cool. Go back to smashing this mirror. Smash your own reflection. Do it. Got a bottle. I got mannequin. We'll start with the bottle. Then we'll smash the mannequin. You know she's fake, yet you can't take your eyes off her. Who else do I know who fits that description? Damn, girl! Off, Rachel. If you want to rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Fuck you, David. Understood your heart on for cameras, Max. You took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. Fuck Gosh, cameras. Girl. Gosh, girl, you're broken as fuck. Is that her car? Totally her car. Dad.
sorry guys. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Oh gosh. <sighs> that was that was intense. I hate car accidents because they're so unpredictable. It's it's the one thing in death that you can't prepare for, or in life that you can't prepare for, is a death. Why are you crying, sweetheart? Fucked up. Oh, this is fucked up. Because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? What the f What's past is prologue and shit. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. I guess I did that. Gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel, you might say? <laughs> she nearly took your head off. Let me keep passing by Rachel. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. I don't feel drunk. Sometimes people need you, though. Even what the fuck? when they don't admit it. Hold on. We didn't move the. We didn't move the poster. I could have graffitied on it, I'm sure. Why are you crying, sweetheart? Fucking Raven. Because you're not real. Can't skip this. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? What's past is prologue and shit. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. I'm gonna watch this fucked up dream sequence again. Ah. <sighs> Offer graffiti opportunity. Possibly. I don't know if I can. Graffiti on it. Can I? Yeah. Hey, where's my marker? I saw a marker. Oh, there it is. Gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel, you might say? <laughs> She nearly took your head off. Now we're gonna drive past Rachel, staring at that tree again. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. Truth or a lie? Gosh, why do I feel like this will have consequences? I'm gonna tell the truth. She been unlocked. Dad Lucid used to rain. hate it when I wrote on shit. Sleep is for the weak. 
Dude, that's my phrase. I guess I did that. All right. Sometimes people need you, though. There's Rachel Amber. Those are some Even creepy when eyes. They don't admit it. What the fuck? Why is she on fire? Rachel. Well, that's one way to wake up. Shit. The stream might be a little longer. Than normal because I'm hooked now. Oh my gosh, she fell asleep in her dad's car. It's nighttime. Her mom. Oh my gosh, her mom's gonna be so worried. Unless we lost our phone again. She dented the hood. Why is there no dent on it anymore? Unless she was dreaming, hitting it. What's the dream and what's not the dream? This is not a dream. Gosh. Chloe, stop having such fucked up dreams. <laughs> Shit, girl. Holy moly. Wowzers, Batman. Sorry, I got a text message. Actually, got a message from uh, Rachel Amber cosplayer. <laughs> so I was checking. There's that freaking Raven again. What was that thing about Ravens don't trust? Oh, there she is. In front of the tree. She hasn't left. She's been here all day. You came. I'm glad. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Oh. Alright. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh. The worst part is... I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad been lying about something for a while. I just, I just, I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought, I thought I could catch him or something. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't, I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Chloe, I love my dad. I love, I love him, him. And, and I never want to see his fucking face, face again. again. When, when my dad, my dad died, died, I was so, I was so mad, mad at, him. at him. For months, I felt, I felt wrong, wrong because 
Half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10, and it started raining, and I fell and broke my arm. So she wants to climb Mount Everest. I remember screaming like I was going to die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and... My heart breaks for these characters. He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. You trusted him. Completely. Here. Here. Chloe, Chloe, I owe you an apology. apology. Hey, hey, we were we both, both kind of the kind of queen of shitty. shitty. No, no, I mean it. Whatever's, Whatever's going, going on, on between, between us, us, it's intense and new and awesome. And, awesome. and, and you had, you had the, courage the courage to tell me that you feel it too. too. And I treated you like shit. Courage? I don't know if I'd call it that. More like blind desperation. <laughs> and maybe a slight buzz from that wine. <laughs> I just want you to know... I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Howie Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? You dropped that one guy with a bottle to the face. Only because you showed up at the last minute and... What about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan? You got right in his face and called him out. That was pretty sweet, actually. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... Oh, shit. <laughs> um... Do I want her to be angry at her father? Or do I want to be sweet and charming? Uh, Fuck your dad. Not Fuck literally. Him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? Money. Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags. I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. Aww. Can I borrow your lighter? How do you know I got a lighter, girl? Thank you. <laughs> Holy shit, this is happening. Oh boy.
What? What the hell? What the fuck? Her scream, like, there was this whole breeze thing going on. My phone vi- or my controller vibrated. That was like some supernatural shit. It's like a fucking storm. Rachel is gonna burn down Arcadia Bay. This is exactly how it was at the end of episode one the other time. Where like a storm was coming. Can Rachel Amber be the storm? Wait, what? Oh, he's worried about Chloe. Some random girl. The girl from the thing. Who is she? <laughs> Holy fuck. Alright. Um. Wow. Okay. Um. Achievement unlocked. Awake dear heart. Okay. That's the end of episode one. Thank you guys so much for playing with me. That is an interesting ending, and man, am I psyched for episode two now. I got so many questions. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, that was a trip, for sure. Uh, can't wait to, to kick things off with the next episode. I, I don't even know if I can, like, whoo. Um, well, I, I guess we'll, we'll do something where we have a reconvene and we talk about all this, because I, I feel like I need to get shit off my chest after that um well thank you guys for joining me as always stay awesome and i will see you next time have a great one